Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Saturn and welcome back to Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Here we are in Sunrise Spring because we have some unfinished business here. Now you may wonder what exactly I'm talking about. We already did the speedway, we defeated the boss. What else is there to do? Well, Zoe here might have an answer. Yeah, you remember these uh, spark signs? Now we will finally uh, know what exactly do they mean. Spyro, I found an egg, but only sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crowded farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Uh, are, we, are we ready? Of course we're ready. Enter crowded farm bonus world. Yes, we will. This is a bonus world. So this is entirely optional. Uh, but I really encourage you to do these levels if you want to upgrade your sparks to maximum uh, and unlock some really cool abilities for him, making him uh, the ultimate homie. Like, trust me, he will get better and better with every bonus world we will do. All right, enter Crowded Farm. Yes, let's go. Now, if you've never seen this game or played this game, you might not expect what you're about to see. Hello, Sparks. Uh, yeah, we are greeted by Sparks, a giant Sparks, and a relatively tiny Zoe. I don't know, uh, she might have some abilities to change her size or whatever, I don't know. Uh, here we are in this very trippy environment, kind of almost like a Sega Saturnish, I guess. Uh, hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty crowd ads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot some targets. Now, this completely changes the gameplay. So, yeah, it's only natural for us to get a tutorial before we even start. Uh, yeah, top down perspective fans, beware. Yes, this is a shooter, kind of like a tank shooter, I guess, uh, that we can uh, play for some extra gems. Now, uh, the controls are very, very simple. We will learn them in this little tutorial here, but I'm going to explain uh, real quick what to do. Yeah, we can move around, obviously. Uh, we can shoot with the same button you use uh, for the br uh, fire breath. We can charge as well for some uh, real fast movement. So that's very nice. And the worst thing ever, uh, the shoulder buttons. Yeah, we can uh, lock on to a target or at least lock on to one angle uh, which we can shoot at. So this is very useful. Just keep this and this in mind and you'll be golden just like sparks right now you can also move now everything so we will mention will be old news so yeah don't even bother listening to her at this point yeah we can obviously charge uh, to catch this little blue crab that works just like the thieves uh, we have seen earlier for the hard part. Uh, now for the hard part, blah blah blah, it's not really that hard, it's just uh, I don't really like the shoulder buttons, I'm sorry. Yeah blah, yeah blah 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 whatever. Now we have a row of enemies here, we know what to do. So uh, lock on and let's just shoot them all. Yeah very very satisfying. I actually really like this, uh, like these levels, they're uh, the absolute highlight for me. And I always can't wait to take them on. On your, travels. Uh, on your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the Dragon Worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Uh, very nice. Now this is, yeah, the best one. Uh, this is the spammy attack. Very nice. And as you can see, we have 300 bullets left, or rather, uh, 270. Yeah, let's 
go. And we uh, wasted this butterfly. That's a real bummer. But oh well. Looks like you're ready. Uh, looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose that. Blah blah blah. I don't need any more help. Now, obviously, we have gems to collect in these levels. Obviously, now we don't have Sparks. Ouch! I pressed the wrong button. We don't have Sparks to, well, pull these gems to us. So that really sucks. Uh, because we are sparks, right? It only makes sense. All right, let's keep going and heal ourselves. Yes, we can heal ourselves with the butterflies just like in the regular levels. All right, now let's take care of these guys. Yeah, there's a box here which we need to destroy so that these crowdads won't spawn. And we have a red key that obviously means that we're going to have to open up a door sometime later oh geez retreat retreat all right let's grab this one and obviously there is a box here that spawns these guys uh, but we cannot do anything about it because it's blocked by a barrier and now the red key opens the red gate obviously and let's take care of these guys. Break their spawning boxes. And we run out of the power up. But no biggie, there's another one here. Alright. And now we have the green key. Uh, most of the most of these levels are just grab one key and move to another. Ouch. Move to another gate and find another key inside yeah there's a uh, crap here that looks exactly like the one in aquaria towers now we have the yellow key and we have another power up this is the shield making us invincible so that's very nice yeah as you can see uh, i'm not even shooting i'm just uh, blasting through them now we got the yellow one, so we obviously need to take the yellow gate. Uh, we need to press this button. And uh, this crap will not screw off if I don't uh, shoot at him. We have uh, the fireworks now. Now these are probably the weakest. Uh, they look cool, but they're really not that awesome. And uh, now we have... I don't remember what this power-up does. It looks like a plastic bag. Alright, now we have the blue key again. How many blue keys are there? Ouch, I didn't mean to uh, go straight into them. Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. Okay, you're going down. And here's a butterfly to, um, jeez, to heal ourselves. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, these guys are just going to keep spawning if we don't get rid of this box. Luckily, we did. All right, very, very nice. Uh, okay, let's take on another one of those. Uh, I think this is the boss stage, so let me just backtrack a little because I totally forgot about one thing and that is destroying the box in the middle. Yeah, uh, this is a gem that is very easy to miss. Alright, uh, that's all there is to it. Now let's go to this big arena and take on the boss of this level. Yeah, this uh, the Sparks level always end with a boss. That is very, very easy. Yeah, just like that. Uh, we have a pretty scary looking lobster here. Uh, that, trust me, he's really not that difficult. Yeah, he's almost uh, half of his HP is down. 
just keep spamming. Uh, you can shoot down his firework rockets he shoots. Uh, oh jeez. Yeah, and just like in the Dragon Worlds, uh, Sparks turns different colors. And Nora! Uh, very, very nice. And that is the only, well, egg there is to collect. Very nice, now we can obtain the remaining gems. 200 out of 200, level complete. Let's go, now that was really, really short. And that's it! Now we have unlocked the ability for Sparks. Uh, what will it be? Let's see. Nice work, nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crowded King and found the Lost Egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have wrapped off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. That's excellent news. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really, really stinking cool. Now obviously we're blue, we cannot end off the episode with a blue sparks, we need to aim for golden. Now we can finally hop into the balloon and go to Midday Gardens for real. So what do you think? That was really fun actually. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the next sparks levels. Uh, so yeah. Right now we have reached Midday Gardens, uh, but we're going to explore them in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Dr. Saturn and I'll see you all in the next one. So see ya.